Good morning, this is Dan, and today we're going to talk about how to start a fruit tree from a seed, from fruit you harvest or fruit you get from the store. So, uh, to start out, I'm going to go ahead and I have this nice gala apple here that I've cut up, and you can see that I have uh, some seeds already pulled out, and one of these has actually started to germinate already. That's really what you want to see. Uh, it's going to cut down the time of this process, a lot of time off this process. Um, well, about 10 days, so 10 days is a lot, that's what we're going to cut down. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a wet paper towel or a moist paper towel. Uh, you don't want it to be too wet, you just want it to be slightly moist, so I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and replace it with our paper towel here. Uh, if you don't have a paper towel, if you're in a, you know, for whatever reason you don't have a napkin or anything, uh, you can use just any kind of fabric. You want to make sure these are washed off after you take them out of the apple, uh, otherwise you will have mold, and you really don't want mold in your tree starts. So you just place those in the paper towel or in the napkin, fold it over. The next thing you're going to need is a container of some kind, and uh, what I like to use, personally, is just a little sandwich bag. So just take a little cheap sandwich bag, doesn't have to be the most expensive, and you're going to place the apple seed inside of the sandwich bag, like so. Try to get uh, as much of the air out as you can. You don't want it to be too tight, too sealed, but you don't want an excessive amount of air in there. All right, so that's your setup. Now, after it's been in for about 10 days, um, these are limit seeds that I'm actually going to be showing you today. But after it's been in for about 10 days, you'll begin to see that you have starts. These particular starts, these limit starts, have been uh, growing for about two weeks now, about 14 to 15 days. And as you can see, we already have a root. And uh, if you let it go too long, it'll begin to attach itself to the paper towel. But you can see I've already got a little focus here. leaves beginning to form, as well as a good solid root, and hair roots. Right, and I actually have two of these that have started. So here's the second one. See, a good start for a lemon tree. Right, so now that you have your starts, I use soil from my garden. You can use any kind of soil that you want. I'm going to go ahead and it's just a a little pot of soil here, you can see, not that big, it's maybe about four inches. Go ahead and create a hole in the center. Take your start, place the root into the hole, cover it up with a little mound, and then I'm going to take that outside and water it, and in just a little bit of time, uh, a couple weeks after you do this step, um, you begin to see this. So this is actually a pink lady apple that I planted previously, so you can see that it actually does work. And I got about a little three inch uh, pink lady apple tree started here. So this is how you start trees from scratch, from just a seed that you get, or a fruit you get in the store, extract the seeds out of it, process them just the way I showed you. This works for lemons, pears, apples. Thank you for watching and God bless. Have a great day.